Can get a hand, horse. Safety first. It's a classic old shovel here. She was going to throw it out. I said, whoa, don't throw that out. It's a classic. We'll fix it for you. Uterus has got a flat battery. The alternator only, I think, anyway, the alternator is only pumping out 60 amps and it should be 120. So it's not charging the battery when the lights are on, unfortunately. So I've got to get a grunty alternator for it. All right, come on, this to me, mate. <laughs> Yeah, nice mate, that's looking good. She's got a bit of character. Coming together quite nicely. Perfect, I've only got one, I really need two. Nice, good work. Oh, I need to put a couple more screws in the handle and then we're done. Yeah. Hey, Grandma's got a new burial shovel. Oh, hi. Hello, hello. Here's your shovel. Thank you. Give you a swap. Trade. Thank you. Very nice. That's Grandma. I don't know if you fellows have met Grandma. Anyway, that's, that's Grandma. It's got some good character, eh? Very tall. Yeah, is it too long, is it? <laughs> It'll still work. <laughs> I forgot. You wanted it. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Look. Oh, well, I'll take it away. <laughs> Bloody you. hell, I forgot about that. I said, how high do you want it? She said, measure it. Yeah, it's meant to be hip height. Look, it's like another foot higher. All right, I'll bring that. I'll bring that back in a couple of days. <laughs> Bloody hell! Oh no, I didn't sharpen it either. Okay. Shit. Hey Ziggy. We're gonna have about twenty or thirty cars. See if we can get a car wire, and if we can't, we'll go Ealing. Getting it sorted. Come here. Ready? Go get him. Go get him. Fifty casts later, and not even a follow up. We're going to go catch some eels or something. Got the sweet little healing line I made. It's got one of the barbless tuna lure hooks, albacore tuna hooks. Got their meat, bro. Okay. Can you see any? Oh, I can't see any yet. It might take them a while to smell the meat. on my neck. I thought this place would be loaded but we haven't even seen one eel. Been here about 10 minutes now. We'll give her another five minutes. There's perch jumping on the other side there. We might actually go perch fishing tomorrow. Go big jerk. Now? Yep pull it pull it hard. Got him? Pull him? Pull him up. That's it pull him up. Can you drag him? Drag him up. Come on drag him up. Drag him. Drag him up! Drag him up! All the way up here! Go buddy! Go go go! Go! <laughs> Drag him! Yeah! Alright! We got him! Oh man he swallowed the hook right down inside him too. He looks, ooh some yum yum meat! Gotta get that! Yeah 
actually got it. I guess we'll we'll cut his head, cut his tail, take him home and eat him. How good is the M2 Overland Canopy? So good. Such a great food source, the eels. But I reckon we'll see the day where the government says no eating the eels. We should smoke the eels, Dad. That's a bloody good idea. Rats started to rain. Me and Sonny were gonna take the bike for a spin. Instead, we're gonna skin the eel. Ingredients. A skinning eel, one wet tea towel, and a knife, and it helps to nail them to something too. But can't find the hammer, so we're just gonna have to. Sonny can hold on to it because the hook's still on him. Come get a hand, bro. <laughs> Brian's pretty easy, just. Heaps of salt, enough salt to float a potato, really. And sugar. Smoke them up. We'll roast them and then smoke them. Yeah, yeah. We might actually jelly these ones. I wonder if we'll make jelly eel out of them. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just... I will roast them and then smoke them. Put them in the fridge overnight. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Don't eat them like that. Well, I'll show you fellas mean as way to cook power that my mate Jay from Arrowtown showed me. It's pretty easy, you just slice it up. If you slice it super thin, it basically melts in your mouth. It's no texture or whatever, but I like a little bit of texture there, so I slice it about. Oh, yay thin, you fellas saw. Uh, and then you just put on glad wrap, fold it over and smash it with a wooden mallet, or I've got a rubber mallet, or whatever. You just beat it so it beats it a little bit flat. I guess it's the same method, 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 methodology, methodology. It's the same way that you bash a steak to tenderize it. Get a really hot pan, cook it really quick, hot and fast, just till it curls a little bit, and take it off the heat straight away. And I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna actually make pasta with fresh tomatoes and mushrooms and power. And a bit of ginger, some garlic, some balsamic vinegar. You guys recognize these ingredients? Some uh, bit of rosemary, some bay leaves, bit of sesame oil, and olive oil. Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, cider vinegar. Oh, and oregano, if I've got some. And basil, which I don't have, so. But just chuck it all and cook it up. It's easy, cooking so easy. You don't actually need to bash the outside lips because they're pretty tender anyway. Sweet. Pretty easy. Right, that pan's smoking. I'm going to put some oil in, chuck it in the pan. Chucking a bit of bacon in there for some added flavour. Overcrowded the pan a bit there. Don't overcrowd your pan, it sucks the heat out of it. Rookie mistake that one. Oh, so tender. Right, now I'm going to put some olive oil in, chop up some garlic, ginger, bay leaves, onions, oh, I've got the same onions, mushrooms, fry them all up in the same pan. Don't 
be shy with that olive oil. Pour it on. Just gonna cook the garlic and ginger a little bit before I add the tomatoes and mushrooms. Oh, it smells so good. Salt your water and you wait till it's boiling rapidly. Roll and boil. Want to roll and boil. Now if you don't want that pasta to stick, you just got to push it in and then give it a wee stir when it softens up. You don't have to put oil in your water. I want to cook the pasta so it's al don dente. dente. Don't rinse it. Woo. Yeah, and then you chuck the pasta in with the tomatoes and the mushrooms. And don't overcook the tomatoes. Go easy on that salt because the par was actually quite salty. He's having a spot of difficulty. Oh man, that is so good. How's it taste? Pretty good, eh?